up until Christmas Day 1865, Wairau Tangata Whenua were a sovereign people and the battle that took place at Omaruhākeke, where this flag was at, that was the end of the absolute sovereignty of the people here. Wairau Museum was at the end of a major redevelopment and the gallery in which the flag hangs had been stripped bare and was being developed into the display that's here now. Built specifically to incorporate the story surrounding the flag and the flag itself. Since 1865, we've been struggling um, in all sorts of social and economic areas and trying to get back to some sort of utopia, which is what Worrell was described at at the time before the Crown intervened in this place. So it has a, a huge connection to the social and economic revival of our people but in saying that also the spiritual revival of our people uh, we've become lost uh, we've become dispossessed and now we, we live in the time of post-treaty settlement it's time now for the flag story and the story of our people to be told, to be understood, so we can move on into the future. And perhaps get back to what Wairau used to be like when everyone here was wealthy, everyone here was healthy, and everyone here were in control of their own destinies.